What's up guys? This is Reno Ranchero and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to customize your texture pack to your liking. I've had a few people who have wanted me to do this so that is why I'm making this video. Personally I like using the Sfax Pure BD Craft texture pack but I like using it with default items, default icons, default armor and not to mention purple iron ore. So in this video I will be explaining how you make those changes. For starters, if you just want to use my texture pack with all of its changes, I have provided the download link in the description for you all. However, if you want to make similar changes to the texture pack that you like to use, keep on watching this video. Now, let's start with how to place elements of the default texture pack into your own favorite texture pack. So what you will need to do is open up your Minecraft texture packs folder. For Max, this is located at Your Name, Library, Application Support, Minecraft. For PCs, this is located at Your Name, App Data, Roaming, dot Minecraft. You might have to enable hidden folders and files in order to find your texture packs folder. Anyway, once you get there, you just want to choose the folder of the texture pack that you want to change. So I will be choosing Sfax Pure BD Craft. Now, in the description, I have a download link that will give you all the files you need. It is called Tutorial Files. So go ahead and download that and unzip the file and put it on your desktop below. I have mine right here. So to change the items to default, all you have to do is open up the GUI folder, which is right here, and then drag and drop the items.png from this folder to that folder. So you just drag it like this, drop it, it'll say do you want to replace, you would just say replace, I'm not going to do it because I've already made the change, and then just like that all of your items would be swapped out. You can do the same thing with the icons if you are a fan of the default hunger bar and health bar. You would just take the icons.png file, drag it over, drop it, and hit replace. It's just that simple. You can also change the armor to default. If you just hit the back button and go into the armor folder, you just have to open up the armor folder down here as well. Select everything, drag and drop, and then do a replace on everything. And if you did that, all of your armor would get replaced to default as well. All of these changes are just simple file replacements that can make your life a whole lot easier. Now, another thing I've been asked about a lot is how do you get your iron ore purple? Well, you would need some sort of photo editing software to do that for your own texture pack. If you would just like to use my texture pack that already has that change, like I said, the download link is down in the description. However, if you want to make that change yourself, I will show you how to do it right now. The file we are looking to edit is called terrain.png. It is located in the main body of the texture packs folder. Um, I happen to use Pixelmator for Mac, which is not free, but it's very nice. When I had a PC, I used paint.net, which is free software, and it's amazing. Um, so whatever software you use, you just want to open up that folder, I mean open up that file with that software. I have mine on the text, um, on the uh, desktop right here. So you just open it up, and you'll see it shows the textures of every block in Minecraft, which is really cool. You just want to zoom in on the iron ore. So I'm going to do that right here. And once you get in close enough, you want to change to some sort of a select tool and make a perfect box around the ore. Uh, we want to make sure it's perfectly around it. Um, actually, it's more like right here. There we go. And once you get it, you want to look at your effects and look for an effect that changes the color. Mine happens, happens to be called Colorize. And then you can just sort of play around with the saturation and you can really make it any color you want, which is pretty cool and kind of funny to change it. Uh, I just happen to like purple. So I would set it right there, hit OK, and, and then hit Save, and I would be set to go. And that is about it. If you have any problems with any of this, just leave a comment below, and I will try my best to help you out. And I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.